Greetings and welcome to the Long Range Planning Division at the Metro Nashville Planning Department. We'll use the next few minutes to introduce you to the division, who we are, what we do, and how communities help shape the future of Nashville. So let's get started. As you may already know, the Long Range Planning Division is one of several divisions at the Metro Nashville Planning Department. And like many local planning departments around the country, our department's work is generally split between current planning or land development and long range planning. While land development works with property owners and developers to rezone and subdivide land, long range planning works with residents, businesses, and other stakeholders to establish a vision for neighborhoods and communities across Davidson County. In addition to community input, that vision takes into account a variety of other factors, such as demographic trends, environmental conditions, existing development patterns, and available infrastructure, including water, sewer, and transportation. Because long-range planning focuses on policy, we often say policy is guidance, zoning is the law. Currently, the long-range planning division includes four sections, advanced planning and research, community plans, project management, and real property planning. Each of the long-range planning sections works within the vision established by Nashville Next, the city's comprehensive or general plan, and at three different scales, systems planning, small area and corridor plans, and project development. The foundation for all the work, importantly, is community and stakeholder engagement. Nashville Next provides the long-range vision for the city, and at the systems or citywide scale, the advanced planning and research section plays a pivotal role in evaluating existing conditions and trends, and often identifying and recommending best practices to address a wide range of issues. In a similar way, the Advanced Planning and Research section supports other teams across the department and Metro Nashville to translate plans into projects, including managing the capital improvements budget. A separate presentation discusses the work of the Advanced Planning and Research section in greater detail. While Nashville Next provides an overall vision for the city's growth and preservation, the Community Plan section primarily works at the second or mid-level scale tailoring and applying land use, transportation, and environmental policies across 14 sub-areas or community planning areas. At the heart of community planning is the Community Character Manual, which establishes different community character policies to guide growth and development. The Community Character Manual is primarily organized around the form and character of neighborhoods, centers, and corridors, but is not a one-size-fits-all approach to development. The Community Character Manual and its policies rely on a planning tool or framework called the Transect. Working with residents, businesses, and other stakeholders, the Transect helps us organize and think where and what kind of development should occur in different parts of the county. From areas we want to preserve as natural and rural to busy commercial centers in downtown. Here's an example of how community character policies are applied or used in East Nashville around five points. As you can see, there are five policies in the area, ranging from residential to mixed use and civic policies. Additionally, this example also includes the vision for the major and collector streets. You can find all this information for the entire county in an interactive web tool called Parcel Viewer on the Planning Department's website. And just a reminder, community character policy and zoning are two different tools to implement Nashville Next. Community character policies provide guidance, for rezoning decisions by the Planning Commission. A property zoning is the law and regulates the specific development allowed on a property. The next section is the project management section, which leads a wide variety of planning and infrastructure studies that involve a number of different divisions within the department and often multiple departments across Metro government, addressing issues identified by elected officials, department leadership, and department divisions. The project teams typically include a consultant to augment department expertise and staff resources. Additionally, the project management team also supports other Metro department plans that involve or affect the planning department, such as countywide transportation planning. Finally, to deliver services effectively, Metro Nashville owns and manages properties throughout the county. While more than 85% of the property is for parks and schools and will remain largely unchanged, surplus and underutilized properties present an opportunity to strengthen neighborhoods and meet a wide range of needs, from new and expanded Metro services to nonprofit uses and attainable housing. The real property planning section focuses on maximizing the potential 
the Metro-owned properties, identified for improvements during small area and corridor plans, whether through the community planning process or in a planning and infrastructure study, or properties designated as surplus by a Metro department. In either case, the Real Property Planning section works closely with departments and neighborhoods across Metro Nashville to improve communities. Because long-range planning is fundamentally about where we all want to go, the county's shared vision and goals, community engagement fuels the division's work. Community engagement takes many forms and a lot of work. It begins with building relationships throughout the county and then relies on a vast array of tools and strategies, including social media, project websites, community workshops, and stakeholder meetings, as well as attending local events and neighborhood association meetings. In other words, we try to meet people where they are. In a given year, the Long Range Planning Division organizes and participates in more than 150 community meetings, and we are always looking for ways to work with more people and organizations. Thank you for watching this overview of the Long Range Planning Division. If you have any questions or need additional information, please do not hesitate to contact us. And you can also find more information on the department's website listed here. Thank you.